This is Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. Here I have in front of us a chart for Ford. And this is a long-term monthly chart going from 1990. So about 20, how about 20, what? 29 years of data. Oh, wow. All right. So long time. So Ford. And this is, of course, 2019. What you can observe from this is there are two periods in this long 30-year period where the stock had a nice successful upward thrust. This is one period in the late 90s and here from 09 to about 2011. Now we can also say that yes, this was also okay, right? Not the best, but not the worst. But really the two areas that I think we can agree visually, these are the most upward thrusting bullish mode as far as Ford is concerned. The rest of the period as you can see pretty much been sideways to down. As you can see here sideways down, sideways down, a little bit up, down. So I would say not the most successful buy and hold. In other words right now trading at about $9. It's pretty much trading where it was in 2013 trading where it was in 2010, trading where it was in 05, trading where it was in 2002, trading where it was in 1997. So as a buy and hold, I would say not a good candidate. So the one thing I wanted to touch on here is, and the reason for this video is, if you take a look and study these two main areas where there was a very bullish action and strong rally, and this is going to be more of a teaser video, you'll notice that these two areas have one thing in common. And what they have is they both meet the minimum requirements for the ultimate Moade breakout. And I'm going to have a description. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to have a link in the description of the video that brings you back to this method. Again, this is a teaser video. But you can see that at the, at the onset, so of course we are looking for this breakout. What were the minimum requirements there in terms of the indicators that we follow? What was the minimum requirement during this breakout? There's a breakout here and another one here. What were the breakout minimum requirements? And if you take a look and if you understand the ultimate more the breakout, you'll see that in this areas here where I highlight, these are areas where the stock met the minimum requirements. What's the point? The point is just by insisting that the candidates you are buying in terms of a breakout momentum play, if you insist that they meet the minimum requirements, then you have an opportunity of owning a stock only twice in 30 years. And in those two periods is when you get a chance to ride the stock when it is at its strongest. In other words, just by insisting on the minimum requirements, that we are talking about in the ultimate mother breakout, you have a chance of owning this stock only during these two periods. So again, in the description of the video, there will be a link bringing you back to this method, the ultimate Mwade breakout method. Eric Mwade, Mwade.com, as always, good luck, peace and blessings. E-S-E-S. -E